Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. I hope you are doing okay. Apart from the fact that my hair is growing even longer than usual, I'm doing okay too. I have prepared a little video to talk about some of the lessons we can learn from St. Mary MacKillop, especially during a challenging time like this. Mary's religious name was Mary of the Cross. She loved this name because she loved the cross. But why? There are crosses in life. When we embrace our crosses with faith, God will lead us to the joy and glory of the resurrection. Think of the Olympic athletes. They embrace their crosses when they made so many sacrifices for so long in order to be trained as the best athletes that they could be. Finally, they were able to enjoy their moment of joy, their moment of glory, when they represented their country at the Olympics. Mary was given many crosses from a young age. She was the eldest of seven siblings. Her mom and dad did not have much money. So while they were working, Mary had to look after all her siblings. Mary was only 10 years old when her youngest sibling was born and she had to raise that baby like a mother. Imagine a home school of seven children without parents. Mary had to be a sister, teacher, and parent all at the same time. She couldn't just do whatever she felt like. Instead, she had to learn to walk the way of the cross and make, sacrifice for, make sacrifices for others. But it was during this time that God did the most wonderful things for Mary in her heart. It was as though God was training her to become a great saint who would be gifted with trust, wisdom, and a generous heart. Mary trusted in God no matter what happened, and this made her very peaceful, even invincible. She was gifted with the wisdom to know how to lead her growing community, the wisdom to know what to do when people came to her with problems. She was gifted with a generous heart with which she cared for others. As we know, she was fond of saying to the sisters of St. Joseph, never see your need without doing something about it. Right now, we are in a difficult situation. We have been in a long lockdown. We cannot do what we want to do. We cannot go where we want to go. We have to make sacrifices. It feels like we are walking the way of the cross. But this can also be a very important time for us, a very important time of preparing for the future. Like Mary, we can learn to embrace our crosses by being patient, listening, and caring. Let's be patient by trusting that God can use this time to make us better and stronger in preparation for the future. Let's listen to those who love us so that we can be trained as the best people we can be. Let's care for one another so that God can do the most wonderful things for us in our hearts and prepare us for the joy and glory that are waiting for us. Have a good weekend and God bless you.